I bet you didn't know the Source Audio Collider has a super secret mode that allows you to cascade two delays or two reverbs. Let's check it out. Before I go any further, I do have a more general demo of the Collider. I'll link to it in the description below. In the meantime, yes, that's right. While normally the Collider is a pedal that allows you to combine a delay and a reverb together, if you know the super secret handshake, you can set it up to cascade two delays or two reverbs. It's actually pretty cool and it's very easy to do. Let me show you. So first of all, you'll want to hold down on the control input button on the front of the pedal. And then let's say you're in delay mode. You can begin to move the knob around and you'll see I switched from the delay engine into the reverb side. That's pretty cool. And once you've got this mode turned on, you can freely select reverbs or delays with either the delay side of the pedal or the reverb side of the pedal. So let's go ahead and check it out. My initial setting on the delay side of the pedal is a digital delay. Here's what that sounds like. Just a straightforward digital delay. Let's go ahead and switch over to the reverb side. And this should be a hall reverb. Let's check that out. And if we put them together, That's kind of where we normally are, but remember I've got this knob, this delay engine knob unlocked. So I can freely go between delays and reverbs no matter where the switch is, which side of the pedal I'm working with. All right, I'm set up to work with the reverb side and let's say I want to add in a reverse delay along with that digital delay. So let's check that out. So I'm just going to keep turning the knob. There we go. I'm now into delays and I'm into the reverse delay. And let's go ahead and get that set up here. And let's just check out the reverse delay sound. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Now I'm going to add that digital delay in on top of it. That's great. All of a sudden, my digital delay got a lot more complex, and I need to learn how to speak a little clearer. All right, now let's try stacking some reverbs. I've got that hall reverb set up, you might remember. Yeah, I made it a little bit bigger. But let's say I want to add a shimmer reverb into the mix. Well, I can flip over to the delay side of the pedal and start twisting the knob, and I'm going to go right to the shimmer reverb and let's go ahead and set up a couple things here and let's listen to just the shimmer by itself nice if we add the hall in here's what we get Yeah, that's really nice. With two reverbs, it got a lot bigger without the shimmer becoming unbearably loud. And let's say I wanna add in a delay. Well, I don't have a delay available now on the Collider, but you know, a lot of people have specific dedicated delay pedals. So let me go ahead and add in a four second delay and I'm gonna add a little distortion in and play some Frippertronic style volume swells.
Yeah, that's really nice. And and you know, it only really took two pedals, a delay pedal and the Source Audio Collider, to get a really massive sound with the one delay line and two reverbs. It just sounds, I don't know, it sounds great. <laughs> So don't go. I've got a playlist. Of course I have a playlist of Source Audio pedals that I've featured here on the channel. Also, if you've not yet subscribed, I hope you'll do so and click the bell notification. Ambient guitar content is coming your way every week. And I'll see all of you on the next video. <laughs>